positive mind vibes life. face mask on um, lavender and calomile I picked this up for a pound in Tesco's I featured it in one of my Tesco's haul recently um, yeah sheet face mask gentle lavender and soothing calomile provide a feeling of restfulness and calm so suitable for vegetarians and cruelty free, so that's good, relaxing. I love anything lavender, that's really good. So let's get this open. Ugh, Ooh. spitting out. So it says to leave on for 15 to 20 minutes and peel off. Mm. It's just so, as soon as I've got it out of the packet, it was literally dripping wet. It was dripping all over me. I had to like, oh, I've got, oh my God, yeah, look. Ugh. So my face is all wet. Look, I'm sweating. It's very um. I've never had one of those face masks like that where all the stuff was squirting out over it. Out of the packet. Ooh. Mm, very nice, very relaxing. Mm. <laughs> Hello, yeah. What are you up 
empty. I think so. I want some dindings. Do you want some dindings? Somebody's fast asleep in my throw over on my bed. Tell us all this time, song us all this rhyme, beauty and the beast. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? So, so I'm back from shopping. Um, so I decided to leave it last minute, like you do on a Sunday, and everything closes at four. So I decided to go out about ten past three. So I managed to do it. I was out for an hour, and um, I done um, Poundland, the Works, and Wilkinsons. So this is. It's mostly a Poundland Hall, a little bit of Wilkinson's Hall, but I won't say it's a works hall because I only bought one thing in there, that's it, one thing. And I'm wearing my new jumper, my New York jumper, even though it looks backwards, yeah. So yeah, um, I literally got through the door and um, um, got my stash over here. I was very good. I remembered my own bag and uh, managed to get everything in there. Shove it all in. We are, what time are we? Quarter, quarter past four? Is it? Yeah. Quarter past four. So the first thing I picked up in Poundland was the pressed powder. Smoothly does it. Makeup. I was getting a bit low on. Um, uh, this was natural beige too, so like I said, I was getting a bit low on um, getting a bit low on um, makeup powder, so I got one of those. It's my little uh, makeup and bits and pieces, deodorants and that in there. Then I picked up a setting spray. I think this was three pound. I needed a setting spray, so yeah. Right, so this is the top that I bought from Poundland, and it was five pound. Let me show you the tag. It was a woman's. Um, it's an extra large. It was in the woman's section. Yeah, woman's. Yeah. So I'm hoping it will fit. And then I got some jeggings, which I've never. I've got jeans. Um. They were twelve pound. Slim fit, I think they're like, yeah, or men's joggers, so they're like jeans, but like a jean, but joggers. So I'm going to try those on, one of them. So these are my joggers, 
Here's my jeans, jean jeans. Right, here's my new top. I've got it on. I'm loving it. It fits. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell I've got a bit of makeup on? Done my eyebrows a bit too much. Yeah. Yeah. Had a bit of a piss ball trying to do my makeup because where well, I kept sweating, it kept going patchy and. Um, yeah, it just looked really stupid, but funny. Yeah, it's all right now. Did the old um, um, setting spray, and it worked very good. Then I picked up some training pads, and um, they they only used to be they were a pound, and there used to be seven in there. But um, I can't remember how much they were, but. Now you get 25 in there, now. Mm. Just looked at the um, receipt, the £2.50. So yeah, the £2.50. Mm. Um, so the setting spray I bought, that was £3. And then I picked up, this was, this is a, a light coverage. And it's called Makeup X Gallery Keep On Glowing Illuminating Foundation. So it's lighter than the other two I've got. But um, that was £3. Mm. <laughs> I apologise if I yawn halfway through the video. So yeah, picked up that. That was three quid. Then I picked up two lots of hand soaps. They were a pound each, totally tangy, um, tangerine hand wash. So I picked two of those up. So I have one in the bathroom and one at the kitchen sink so we can wash our hands, um, obviously. Um, so yeah, they were both a pound each. Um, some of the stuff was a pound, some wasn't. Um, let's get the pound stuff out of the way. So two, well, one's a face pack and the other one is a foot pack. You've got a tea tree peppermint foot pack. That was a pound. And then you've got the anti-aging collagen, try not to yawn, <laughs> woven face mask. And uh, that was also a pound as well. I needed some new toothpaste, so picked up a, a new toothpaste that was, I think, it was, was it a pound? I remember a day when you didn't have to question if anything was, a, you know, a pound in Poundland. Um, yeah, the um, toothpaste was a pound, and I picked up these wipes, facial wipes. They were a pound, they're friends, like the um the series friends. Mm. So they were a pound. Then I picked up this is long lasting freshness, get 33 washes, sunset pink luxury fragrance fabric softener. So I thought I'd just get the cheapy one for now and yeah, it sounds really weird, but I quite like washing, like, you know, putting the washing in the washing machine and putting it on and, you know, and, you know, I kind of, when mum was here, she, it sounds really bad, but she did do most of the washing. I, I did some, I did do, you know, um, but when she got really ill, you know, she showed me, um, <laughs> she had to show me how to use the washing machine and I always thought that a washing machine was really difficult and she's like it's not it's easy and they are piss easy and she's like you got the hang of that now and I'm like yeah it's really it's really easy isn't it really good and I love doing it I just I don't you know I don't know is there any people out there that love washing I love washing it just yeah I don't know yeah is that weird I don't know but I love doing it just yeah putting the tablets in and buying all this stuff and that oh we've got to do the sniff test 
I've done the sniffy test. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, lovely and yeah, nice, sweet taste. Hmm. Um, what's that a pound? Bear with. Mm. It was a pound, yeah. There was quite a few there. These, this is Poundland's own version. There was loads of there that was like I don't know, sort of um, more than a pound. You know, that was like I don't know, five pound, three, whatever. You know, yeah, but definitely weren't a pound. So I just thought I'd get a cheapy one. You know, they're only clean clothes, aren't they? Um, these I think were three pound. These are the Purcell, um, yeah, they were three pounds, the capsules. Um, yeah, they were three pound. How many did you get in there? Dirt is good, 15. Well, not bad, yeah. And I really love these because they're, yeah, capsules. And they're really squishy as well. I get the... I get the urge to really squeeze them, but obviously you don't do that because they're just bloody squirt everywhere if you did that. Yeah. Okie dokie, so that was my Poundland haul, plus the clothes I've got on. Um, so all in all, my shopping in Poundland today came to £36.50. So not bad, £36.50. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop those back into my basket my ba basket bag just gonna pop those back into my bag so I can take these down and put them in the uh, bathroom in the kitchen now like I say um, I didn't buy a lot in um, the works I bought one thing I bought a notepad a really big notepad and I bought three things in uh, Wilkinson's so I'm going to quickly quickly show you what I bought in the works that was it a great big notepad I use it as a diary um so Rita um so originally £12 down to £3, which is bloody good. So yeah, so I used that to, um, I thought it was a lot um, better than the smaller ones. Um, so um, how much was it? Yeah, How much was it? £3, Martin. The sticker gives it away. So yeah, that's all I spent in, in the works. And in Wilkinson's, I spent exactly £16 and I bought, um, yeah, did I, three things. Did I say four things or three things? Two lots of picture frames. One was £8. Um, bit confusing. One, so one was £8 down to £2. Or was the other one six pound and two pound? I don't know. It's confusing me. Um. Anyway, so so I bought these a couple of times. I've got a couple of these up already up on my wall. These are really really handy. These are so good. Um. Obviously, because you can put more than one photo in, you know, um, rather than just have one picture frame um i think this was was it eight pound or six pound i don't know i think it was eight pound yeah i think it was eight pound um you've got memories written across one so you've just got like the strong strong string stapled on the back and you've got the wood between then you've got and then it says together I'm not doing a good job of showing you memories together. So, yeah, so I've got a couple of photos in there. Then, sticking to the photo frame theme. So this was six pound. Was six pound down to two pound. 
I thought that was really good. Mm. It's really nice, all flowery. So I shall obviously be putting a picture in there. Mm. Then last but not least, I picked up this love sign. See this? Again, this was six pound and it was reduced to two pound, which I thought was really good. So look at that. Yeah. So yeah, how much did I spend in Wilco's? Sixteen pounds, actually. Mm. Sixteen pound. Mm. And that's the lot, guys. That is my haul. Yeah. And um, thank you very much for watching. Um, in this video, I'm including a couple of videos with me and Soxy. Um, yeah, he, sometimes he comes to um, decides to randomly come and sit on my bed anytime he wants. Sometimes it's even stupid o'clock in the morning. It'd be like three, four o'clock in the morning, and he decides to want to play silly buggers like you know prance arsing around on my bed you know when all i want to do is go to bed yeah if you've got cats and dogs you know what it's like yeah um so yeah so i've included some uh videos with me and soxy um i'm really really tired i don't know why i don't know why i'm tired um i think i haven't really been sleeping a lot i don't know if i look tired but last couple of days I've, I've been really ill but I'm a lot better now um it wasn't covid thank god because I did the test and and it came back um negative so um so I've got covid thank god um I don't want um well nobody wants it really um but I don't know if it was something I ate I don't know if it was because I did get a bit of a chill as well I was really like oh chilly even though I put the radiators on it wasn't warming me up um and I was just feeling really blah for about three days and it took me a long time to shake it off so yeah excuse me oh god right so I'm gonna put all this away now mm. and uh go and make myself a cup of tea mm. And uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you guys for watching. It really means a lot. And uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thanks. Um, you know, yeah, please, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, also click the notification bell on the side. Because obviously if you don't click the notification bell, then you don't get the notifications come up on your phone or laptop computer or whatever you don't know when I've uploaded a video so if you click the little bell next to the word subscribe that just lets you know when I've uploaded a video so if you click on that um so go and share my channel with every Tom Dick and Harry out there please do because it really does mean a lot it helps me with my channel and um and it's always nice to hear from you guys. It always is. It really is. And like I said, I always say, you know, I've said it in the past, and I do go through every message. I read every single message. I'm still not getting notifications coming up on my phone to let me know that people have messaged me. YouTube is just so really weird. It just has a moment, you know. It has a moment of letting you know when people have commented on your video as a moment of not telling you so i don't know what's going on um yeah so so i go through every single message i check all my videos every single day every minute of the day to just see who's commented and when you've messaged i always read your messages one by one you know whoever you know you've messaged you know yeah when you've messaged and um you know i always read your messages uh one by one and uh and i always always will reply back to your messages as well so thank you so much for taking the time for messaging it really does mean a lot honestly thank you so so much and i also want to give a great big shout out to one of my friends claire who i didn't know um 
I met through my friend Becky from Becky's Craft and Goodies. Becky did a Secret Santa um, last year and we swapped names and addresses and that. And my Secret Santa, well, my Secret Santa was Gaynor, my good friend Gaynor, who I sent the present to. And, um, and a lady who sent my presents, and I did show you, I did like a, yeah, um, Christmas presents that I've, I got. And my Secret Santa was my friend Claire. Anyway, and I uh, got a re lots of lovely presents from her. And we've swapped details. Um, so, yeah, so if, if any of you out there ever want to add me on Facebook, I'm Martin Easter. Easter is in like the month. Easter egg, you know. Um, yeah, so please feel free to add me. Um, please let me know who you are first, you know. Um, because I'd be like, you know, who's this added me? So, um, yeah, so let me know who you are and yeah, feel, please feel free to add me on Facebook. I only do Facebook. I don't do Twitter or Instagram. I really don't get it. You know, I'm not a very, yeah, um, I, yeah, I've never done Twitter or Instagram. I don't, I, like I said, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not that technical. I just about get, you know, YouTube and, you know, and Facebook. So, please please feel free to add me on facebook and i'll add you um you know i accept your friends request i mean um yeah so please feel free to add me on facebook and uh so yeah my friend claire who i met through um my friend becky and me and uh me and claire um sorry i just got makeup all over my hands sorry if you're wondering what i'm doing um yeah, so me and Claire met through Becky and we become really good friends and we've swapped details. We've got each other on Facebook, we've swapped numbers. Um so I've I've met a lot of amazing friends through um YouTube. I really have and you know, got to the point where we've exchanged details, you know, so they've become really, really good friends. And I didn't realise me and Claire actually live quite near each other you know and i was like oh my god oh my god yes yeah, so um we're going to try and arrange a day of when to meet up and um so it's going to be really nice that um i'm for the first time i because i've got some time off in um i think the end of february i'm off from the 26th of february to the 7th of March because um, the 4th of March will be the anniversary a year to when my mum passed away so um, one of my team leaders at work gave um, booked that week off for me so which was really nice meant a lot um, so me and Claire have talked about meeting up and she's going to do my makeup for me you know she'll probably do a better job than I can um, <laughs> and um, and it will be the first time I've ever done a YouTube video with one of my YouTube friends who is no longer a YouTube friend. She is just a good friend, if that makes sense. So I'm really looking forward to that and I'm really looking forward to meeting her. Um, I can't wait. So, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, so, right, I am out of here now. I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea. I made myself a cup of tea about, I don't know, seven hours ago and left it on the side to get cold. So I'm going to have a well-deserved cup of tea now, wipe this shit off my face and I am just going to bloody chill, chill out. Mm. Thank you so, so much for watching. Mwah. Thanks for your love and support. Thank you so, so much, guys. I love you all dearly and it's always nice to hear from you and I really do hope you like the video. Smash that like button if you do like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Go on. Right, I'm out of here guys. I shall see you later. Mwah. See you later. And I... You all. I. You all. See you later. Bye.